There's this thing that you would do when I was a kid that would drive me fucking nuts, which is uh, while you were downstairs, you would ask me to get you the remote, even though it was ne- right next to you. Right? Pretty much the only thing. Yeah, and I feel like you have the right to do that. Wait a minute. What, what was I doing when I asked you? You were on your exercise bike. Oh, and I your, didn't want to get off? Yeah, and you were drinking your cracking and cut. Would, would I know where the remote was, or was I asking you to get it because you put it somewhere and I couldn't well, find I it? Wa- I see what it is. I never watched the remote. I never watched the TV downside. I was very in my in my room type of kid. So, it was so, you know. you, so you guys just moved the remote to fuck or, with me? Or maybe one of our eight, yeah. eight stepmoms, one of them. Eight stepmoms? Hold up. What? Seven oh, stepmoms? How many have I had? I'm a bad man, but it is uh-huh. okay. It's five. Is it okay. five? It's five. Okay, let's see. Jane. No, don't name them. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. Guys, welcome to Steak and Eggs, episode 51. And, uh, Due to whatever asshole made the thumbnail of Asma Gold's dad being here on the thumbnail a couple episodes ago, I decided to make it up for it by humiliating myself and bringing my actual dad to today's uh, episode. And uh, you guys get to ask whatever you want. Uh, for the go. viewers at home, what do, what do you want the viewers to call you? <laughs> Colonel? No, God, no. No, no. <laughs> Iron Mike? No, no. Mike, Mike will work just fine. All right, cool. Unless they're really hot. <laughs> Then they can call me Michael. But. <laughs> All right. It's just that simple. Yeah. It's just that simple, yeah. So what do you think about what he's doing? Um, what do you mean by that? The whole thing. Uh, it, um, it was a long journey. Yeah? And... Um, so you say, what you're trying to say is that he fucked around a lot before he did this. No, no, no. Oh. This was always his... This was the journey he was on and society and parents... Yeah. Tried to sidetrack him because who would have thought 15 years ago that this would be what people are doing? True. Yeah. yeah. And when he and his older brothers would be video gaming, I would try to limit it to, you yeah. know, X amount of time and you got to earn the privilege to play and everything. And looking back, God, well, I feel like I was a bad parent because. <laughs> You were setting them up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't turn out right. Is yeah. that what you're I, I will say around high school, you kind of just like just said, eh, hey, fuck it. I will say that. <laughs> oh, my parents no, said the same I, thing. I, I, no, no, no. That's not true. Uh, well, no, 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 you, you let me do kind of whatever. Well, I let you do what you wanted to do because, you know, life's about making decisions and then living with the results of your decision mm. and not blaming it on somebody else. And you didn't do that, but. I mean, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but when he was in high school, I couldn't tell if he was in his room or at school. Really? Yeah, that's how messy his room was. A messy room, imagine and, that. And, wow. and he was this big yeah. in high school, uh-huh. and I could look in there, and I couldn't tell if he was in the bed, under the bed. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Yeah. But uh, And it wasn't that far to his school. Yeah. That's one of the advantages was you could walk out the back of our quarters where we lived on right. the Army base, and it was about a four-minute walk to his private school. Yeah. Because he, he couldn't go to the regular school because he was so big, and every day he was getting into fights because this gang wanted him and this gang wanted him. And Did I he w- win the fights? Yeah, and I was afraid he was going to oh. kill somebody. Uh-huh. So... I got him out of there before he could because yeah. as a ninth grader, he was the biggest kid in the school. Right. And as a matter of fact, at the private school he went to, he was the homecoming king. Prom king. Prom king. Ninth, ninth grade, 10th grade. <laughs> grade. He would have been it in 11th grade, but they changed the rules and said it can only be a senior. Right. So ninth grade, 10th grade, and senior year, he was prom king. So three out of four. Three out of four, and he didn't yeah. get it that other year because they just gave it to somebody else that nobody liked, but right. he was kind of tall. <laughs> yeah. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hello, people of Steak and Eggs. Today, I'm here to bring you vital information about today's sponsor, Air Up. AirUp explores the concept of scent-based taste, making it a whole lot more enjoyable to drink water throughout the day. Let's be honest, water is pretty boring and drinking it is a big weakness for us gamers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey Asmin, how much water do you drink in a day? Uh, about six to seven sodas a day. Exactly. Asmin is bored of drinking regular old water. He's sitting there 
lifelessly with no understanding of how enjoyable air up can make your water consumption. It's good for you, doesn't use sugar, sweeteners, or additives, but it still lets you add tons of different flavors to your water. So here's how it works. You take either your steel or plastic air up bottle, I've got a plastic one, and you fill it up with water, attach your favorite scent pod with the image on top of the mouthpiece and activate it by pulling up until it stops by itself. Then all that's left is to drink normally. Get 10% off your entire order by using the promo code SteakandEggs10. Link in the description. Thank you, Arup, for sponsoring our podcast. When uh, <sighs> his brothers would come to visit us from college, and because his brothers are a little bit older, and they would they would come visit from college, and uh, they wanted to go clubbing mm -hmm. at the town. Am I allowed to say the town? Yeah, go for it. It's El Paso. Ah, yeah. And if you haven't been to El Paso, you really should go. It's one of yeah. the friendliest places in the world. I have the exact opposite opinion. I think it's a shithole. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't say yeah. I didn't say that. You know, if you have, <laughs> I mean, the, so the the I think the median income for a family of four there is eighteen thousand dollars a year. Oh, wow, it's poor as shit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's 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 yeah, it's poor. But his brothers wanted to go clubbing, and where they wanted to go clubbing, you had to have a a sports jacket to go. Uh -huh. And his oldest brother could wear one of mine, even though it would be a little bit short. But his middle brother was like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he wasn't yeah. wearing one of my sport coats. So he went into John's closet and got out John's blazer uh. from his private school. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're downtown in this club and his, they're down there with army buddies. And his brother goes up to the bar to get drinks because it's he's just turned 21. Yeah, yeah. So you, when you just turn 21, you want to be It's what guy. you do. Yeah. So he goes to get the drinks and there's a girl at the bar and she looks at him and he's got on this blazer with the little emblem from the school. Yeah. And it's kindergarten to Both senior grade. in high school. It's got all those grades. And Sandra Day O'Connor, the Supreme Court justice, actually uh -huh. went there a long, wow. long, long, long time ago. Yeah, 50 years ago, yeah, something like that probably. More like 70 or 80. <laughs> but anyway, um, she says to his brother, when did you go to Radford? And his brother's arrogant. Yeah. I mean, he's arrogant and he has a, he can get <laughs> angry. And uh -huh. so this girl's bothering him and he's not going to take, you know, what he said to her, I can't repeat, but it was basically leave yeah. me, yeah. leave me alone, you right. know? And she's following him back to the table because she's going to take that jacket off him. Uh huh. Because she has gone to that school. Well, like this is some kind of stolen valor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, it's like, you know, yeah. somebody from Hogwarts stole your Slytherin. Oh shit! Okay, I mean, what it was a big fuck? deal. Yeah. And uh, is it that they get back to the, the table, and she wants that, that jacket. Sounds weird. She wants that jacket. Yeah. And uh, everybody's getting kind of embarrassed. And finally, his brother says, "Well, it's it's John's jacket." Yeah. She says, "John, who?" And you know, she says, "John." Yeah. Da da da. da. And, oh my God, you're John's brothers. And she actually knew of them. Oh, really? She knew of his brothers, but had not met him because she was prom queen and he was prom king. Is that right? When she was a senior and he was a ninth grader. Wow. And she's now my daughter-in-law and has three of my grandkids. Wait, hold on. What? 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she married happen? his brother. Wait, oh. the one that was wearing the jacket? Yeah, she yep. married the one that's wearing the jacket. They got three kids. Yeah, Damn. and it's, yeah, so, yeah. So that's that just, just kind of worked oh, out. what the it, hell? I, yeah, it, it kind of worked out, but it was kind of bizarre, but yeah. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, growing up with these Imagine guys. Imagine marrying someone just because they knew that they were the brother of May, so. That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's exactly I'm, what it was. You know, what I mean, it. Shit, <laughs> can, Who can, yeah. John? We don't yeah. need to talk about that. Okay, we won't talk about, okay. Nah, you who can, can John? Nah. Wait, no, he's, he's, he's brought up who can, John, yeah, before, haven't you? Okay. Is it two cans or the bird? No, yeah, exactly. Here's the deal. Um, I used to change his diapers. Okay. Okay. That's cute. But <laughs> that's when he was tiny. I mean, uh, by tiny, oh, I yeah, mean, yeah, so. of course. You know, yeah. He was yeah, young. No. Right. I have not gazed upon his manhood since I was changing his diapers. Well, at least now we know that. <laughs> yeah. So, but his brothers, right. <laughs> his brothers like to bring it up. Yeah. All the time because A, they're jealous because he's a half a foot taller than they are. Oh really? Yeah, he is. One six one and one six three six. Yeah, and they hate. 
that he was bigger than them before he was even that's out so of sad. high school. Yeah, you uh-huh. think when you're six one, that's that's good enough. But, I would you know, love to be six one. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. but that's I need a lot or just to approach six mm-hmm. one. But so his his brothers were were jealous, and they would talk about. You guys know who the Yin Yang Twins are, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well they would play Yin Yang music on the stereo of my car. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. So <laughs> that people right. could listen. Right, yeah. Yeah, so people so that could way, listen. Yeah, so help yeah. everybody out. And, and, and I'm not going to turn it off because that would imply that I actually give a shit and I'm embarrassed. Right. You know, I believe in the First Amendment and either everybody has free speech or nobody has free yeah. speech. I think Tecton's really enjoying that free speech right now. <laughs> I'm loving yeah. it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This is free the, speech. the uh-huh. quietest he's ever been mm-hmm. on the podcast. Well, I would yeah. pull up, to, okay, when they were in school, one was in, he was in elementary, his other brother was in middle, and he was, uh, the older brother was in high school. Yeah. And I would roll up and pick him up in my convertible, whatever it was at the time. Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Oh. And uh, he would get in first, knowing that we were then going to go pick up his two older brothers, because yeah. they got out a little bit later. Mm-hmm. And he's like 10 years old, and he's throwing on the Yin Yang Twins. Right. Or if it wasn't Yin Yang Twins, it was Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. You know how the Pulp <laughs> oh Fiction God. album starts with, all right, all you motherfuckers, if anybody moves, I'll yeah. kill you. Yeah, that's how it would start. And he would play that as we're rolling up to the line to pick the kids up from school. The crazy chick in the diner. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know, all the, the mothers are looking at me like, you know, what kind of father is that? And, right. You know, but hey. All of my sons still talk to me. Is that I right? think you're a great dad. Daily. So, yeah. I mean, and his middle brother and I, we we had issues. Yeah, that's an understatement. He had he had anger issues, and, and justifiably so. Uh-huh. But he directed his anger issues at the people that loved him the most. Yeah. Instead of at who actually deserved the anger. And who's that? The, who deserved it? Yeah figures of authority, whether it was college or high school. That's just... You know, he had a high school track coach. Yeah. The, the, the kid was the fastest runner in the area. Right. Yet his high school track, track coach would put tampons in his locker. That's what the coach did? That's what the coach did. That's just... That's the way Wait, it is, what is in Texas. What, what does that mean? And He's calling call, him a pussy. Call, call him pussy. Yeah. 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 So... What? His I, coach did yeah, that? The Why? Coach did that. But it, it got really bad. And, bad. <laughs> it, it got bad, and I went and talked to the is. I went and talked to the head coach. Yeah, and I went and talked to the principal, and I said, "Look, the next time Merck was his name, right?" I said, "The no next time idea. Merck is derogatory to my son, I'm leaving the Pentagon. Nope, I'm driving down here, and I'm beating him up in that's, front of God and it. everybody. He's got a lot more. Well." So next thing I know, it's like it's a, a week later. Yeah, it's, it's a, about a week later, and his older brother calls and says, "Hey, Dad, John Ben's walking home because he got into it again with Merck." Right. So I get in my vehicle. I leave the Pentagon. I drive a couple miles through the neighborhoods there, and there's my son walking home crying. You see him? I see him. Yeah. I pick him up. He's he's trying not for me to see him crying, right. but he's crying, and and he's a big kid, and he's really talented, and he's smart, and yeah. We drive over, and I, I drive through the gate. I drive across the synthetic track. I drive because I'm, I'm looking for the coach, and there yeah. he is. You know, and I'm trying to run him over, but, you know, he uh, dodged behind the bleachers and that. But, yeah, that was— So did you beat his ass or what? No, he got away. Oh. He got away. Yeah, and, and besides, they had the police yeah. there. The police were there by the time I got there. Right, right. Now, the, the only thing that kept me out of jail was I'd already been to Afghanistan three times. Holy so shit. So they, they cut you a little bit of swag. How many times yeah. did you serve? How many times did you deploy? I got 11 combat tours. Oh, wow. Holy shit. What, how long have you been in the military? I was in 41 years. Okay, so wow. you're out now though, right? Yeah, I've been out. They were they medically retired me for war wounds in um, so 20, they had to kick you out. 2013, yeah. Okay. I didn't know what day of the week it was when they retired me. Wow. I had a pretty significant head injury. Is that right? So I would meet new people every day. Yeah? If if I already knew them, I still knew them. But yeah. if, I, if somebody knew, I... I and that went on for about 18 months. And right. he, he was in high school when that was going on. Yeah. I didn't know what grade he was in. I'd wake up every day thinking he was still in the ninth grade and uh-huh. he's a junior in high school and shit. Yeah. So, but yeah, we, we kind of worked through that. You but, were on a story talking about the Ying Yang Twins. Oh, the Ying Yang Twins. So, <laughs> you know that one song where they go, Wait, do you see? The Whisper Song? Yeah, yeah the yeah. Whisper Song. Well, his brothers would sing that about yeah. him. Uh-huh. Know, Wait, do you see, you know, John's. Yeah, and uh-huh. they would talk about that's where the toucan came from. Yeah. Personally, I can't test one way or the other. 
Okay. So what do you think about that tech tone? What do you think? Hey, how about that? Yeah, inquiring minds want to know. Just throw it out here. Let's wait. What? I'll uh, explain it after. Okay. I, I Abby, do can know you, that. Can, can you earmuff, Emmy? I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> if it, it makes you more comfortable, la, 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 yeah, la, la, yeah. La. you don't want to hear this shit. So Toucan I can't hear. was in reference to Toucan Sam, and Toucan Sam is a guy who could stack two Coke cans on his dick. Yeah. And so my brothers would call me Toucan John. Toucan uh -huh. John. And we don't know if it's true. And they don't either. My brothers would just talk about how fucking yeah. large my dick yeah, was. The, never the having seen it, okay? No other but, male in our family yeah. has seen, you know, I mean, when we would go to Lifetime Fitness. Right. But like, I'm not giving you, like, I would just be pissing and my brothers would just kick in the door. Yeah, trying yeah. to look, yeah. It trying to make the, fun of it. <laughs> it was the weirdest fucking thing. I do know that the Asian businessmen that went to our gym, Anytime John headed to the sauna, they would follow him in there like, you know. Dude, like a, the saunas are so like, weird. Like man. a I condo get, line. I can't you know? get used to that shit, bro. The Is sauna, that right? Just seeing so much old man dick in the sauna, man. I don't know how people hey, do I, that. I, I resemble that. Come on now. I'm just saying, man. Like old men, just like at a certain point, they just stop giving a fuck. They just let it hang out, bro. It's so annoying. Like watching these, well, you're, you know, you're, how old are you? 74, 72, 71? 70. 69, 72, 73. <laughs> You're one of those. <laughs> my, my next birthday, which is coming up, let your subscribers know my birthday is coming up. In April. <laughs> no, 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 no. June. June. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I don't, I'm hey, bad with hey, birthdays. You should know what day I was born on because. June 4th. Okay, it was the day before that. June 3rd. Okay. But, there you go. <laughs> okay. but um, yeah, I'll be 73. 73. Yeah. But uh, yeah, raising him and his brothers with the video game thing, it was it was an adventure. So you ever get pissed off because you're spending too much time playing games, not doing anything in school? Because my dad used to get mad at me like that. Uh, well, I didn't believe in getting mad. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, because... That's very fair. His, he, I want to keep him accountable. He's being very... He, he rarely yeah. ever got mad. And if he did, it was very rare occasions. And it would be mm -hmm. like five seconds and then I'd catch myself and go, God, mm -hmm. you be an asshole. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you can't take back. You can't, you can't take back shit you, know, you, you say. You can't yeah. take stuff back that hurts people, so just don't say it in the first place. Right. Yeah. You know, because then you don't have to take it back and just, you know, but mm -hmm. no, he, I would get frustrated, but he had a mother that was so mean to everybody. I mean, really like, yeah. you know, that I just, I said, man, I God, stop that. No, we're not. So you just let them do whatever the fuck because you feel like, man, they are getting... Well, no, like, I just figured that if they were going to do it, we'd do it together. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we'd do it together. Yeah, that's And it. I kept them occupied pretty much. And right. So there wasn't... And if if his buddies wanted to play video games all week, they'd come to our house and play video games all uh -huh. week and stuff like that. It was fun. There was one time he, he was... I think he was a senior. But his little buddies were a little bit younger, and they were little. Yeah. I mean, even though they were close in age, they weren't anywhere near in stature. Right. And um, <coughs> I right. was, bless you. Thank you. Or no, salute. 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 Spanish. Uh, salute. Thank you. And um, I used to keep cracking rum in the freezer. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. Because, you know, you never know when something would piss me off, and I'd just go have a shot of cold cracking and get back on my exercise bike. Yeah. And uh, it would calm me down because I didn't want to take the meds that they wanted me to take. Uh-huh. Because, uh, you know, the, the side effects of the meds they give you to keep you from being angry, you don't want the side effects. It makes you more angry. Mm -hmm. But he came in and, and he said, I, I, was, I went to bed about nine o'clock because I was getting up the next morning to run and it was very rare to see my dad without a Jack and Coke. Yeah. Like yeah. at yeah. all times. Cracking. Is that, is that Jack? Oh, yeah, Cracking crack and, and Coke. That's crack right. That's right. Jack and Coke. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Not That's what I would get at the bars yeah. when they would think I was 21. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they would. We we drank. He drank all over Austin at the age of 19. Really? Uh, yeah. That shit was awesome, bro. Wait, what, he, uh, he came anything? in and he said, hey, Dad, no. is, it, is wow. it okay if my buddies and I Damn. have a Kraken? Yeah. And I said, I don't know, call their parents. And if their parents tell me it's okay... Yeah, it's okay. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. But their parents, because this is Texas. Yeah. And in Texas, you can buy your kid a drink. Right. At a bar. It's not against the law. If it's your kid, you can buy him a drink. And so he came back and said, yeah, the, the parents said it's okay. And I go to bed. And uh, I get up the next morning. I walk out. 
And man, there's vomit. Starting there, there's just vomit everywhere. Damn. And it's that brown, right. uh, brown vomit and there's chunks in it. I'm going, what the, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and he comes out of his bedroom and he's all apologetic. He said, Dad, I said, it's okay, I'll get it cleaned up. No, no, no. So what happened was I said, Dad, I'm so, so, oh, and then I yeah, vomit. Yeah. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I, vomit. I said I, I'll get it cleaned up. And then I go in his bathroom to get a towel to start because I'm going to use a dirty, I'm not going to get clean towels. Yeah. I'm going to go get dirty towels and clean the vomit up with the dirty towels. Right. right? And I, I go in his bathroom and his two buddies that spent the night, Yeah. one of them's in the bathtub right, yeah. in the fetal position and the other one's on the floor next to the toilet in the fetal position. Neither one of them's <laughs> got any clothes on and there's vomit everywhere. There's vomit everywhere. So. so wait, were you in this same house like the night before whenever this shit happened? Yeah, but I and was And you asleep. slept through the whole thing. Well, I'm, okay, I'm deaf in this ear. Right. And so if I sleep on this ear, I don't hear anything. So th it, you didn't even know this shit happened. They could have been partying and having all the, kinds the, of crazy shit happen. Yeah. No idea. But yeah. I did not party at all when I was here. I did not party. I was not uh -huh. a partier. The context of the story of why we did this is insane. Yeah, uh, why did we don't, I, have, we don't have to get into that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't about that mother that kept trying to give me money, was it? Mm, well, that's kind of related. I mean, this guy would date these girls yeah. and their mothers would come over and want to give me money. For what? I don't know, because we okay. never we never it's, got I was too afraid to find out. Right. Cause you know, some things you don't want to know. Yeah. You know, some things you just want to like if people give you money, they want something out of it. Let me get out of here, uh -huh. you know. I mean, one of the mothers came and she had a, a large amount of money she wanted me to lock up in my safe. $25,000. Yeah. But what the fuck? But, but remember, we're on the border. Yeah. Oh, we're on the border. right. Because this is El Paso. Yeah. We're yeah, on the border. I get and it and now. I don't look. Like I said, I, I got 11 combat tours. I've been shot. I've been blown up. I've been stabbed. But you got to be an idiot to fuck with the cartel. <laughs> okay. You, you, you got to yeah. be stupid if you think you're badder than the cartel. Mm -hmm. The president of Mexico was on the news today talking about, I don't fuck with the cartel. Mm -hmm. That's America's problem, not mine. So when these, I mean, the cartel was, but the unwritten rule in El Paso was the cartel didn't commit crimes in El Paso. Yeah. The crimes were all in Juarez and, you know, El Paso yeah, was yeah. kind of like neutral ground, but every now and then something would happen. He had classmates that got their heads cut off. Damn, really? Yeah. Remember For the, what? Remember the Death Note kid? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he they had, got him. What they get him for? His parents were mule and drugs oh, and lost, and he lost got, him at the border. And so they got him. They got him. Yeah, he got him. caught up between a drug deal. Yeah, the yeah. parents weren't going back across, but it was rough. So I didn't want to get involved in that because, you know, there were rumors. Right. And I don't know if the rumors were true, but I don't need to know. I just didn't want to be involved with it. Yeah. I wasn't trying to be a hard ass or anything, but, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't, didn't want to get killed by some thug. Yeah. Walking down the street in El Paso, just walked up behind me and shivved me. So, but I I love El Paso. I I really? can live there now. It was some of the nicest people that I ever met were were from El Paso. But yeah, that was yeah. I, I don't know that they were partying, but that brings up <laughs> another story. Yeah. One thing yeah. I want to say, he cleaned up all the vomit. I did. I cleaned it by all himself. Up. Yeah. I got OCD. I can clean. Right. Didn't complain. I can clean at all. What a good dad. Yes. Well, I mean, I've been there. I was on the other side of that vomit. When, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I was a lifeguard in Daytona Beach when I was 14 years old. Yeah. And the London Symphony Orchestra would come to Daytona. And Mia Farrow, the actress, uh -huh. was married to the conductor of the London Symphony Orchestra, a guy named Andre Previn. Yeah. And uh, they would come and they would party. And, you know, you're the lifeguard. They hand you a margarita, you're drinking it. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're the yeah. lifeguard. You do whatever they tell you to do because you're hoping in those days you were hoping to get a $10 tip oh. for lifeguarding their pool party yeah. and stuff. And I can remember walking the three miles from from the beach to my parents' house, hardly able to walk a straight line. I was so drunk at, <laughs> that, at that age. And, you know, so. So I wanted to uh, get you on a story because I want to tell you something I've never told you before. Because there's a lot of times you tell stories, you don't understand the context Am of I going to cry? <laughs> I don't I, think so. I, you guys understand I'm yeah. vulnerable right now, right? Yeah. Aww. A bit. <laughs> yeah. What? I lost my service dog of 10 years mm. a week ago. Oh, Damn, that's so that. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm having a great dog. I'm having difficulty dealing with it. Yeah. And yeah. then the VA turns around and tells me I'm too old to get another dog. What do you 
Yeah, that's isn't that, isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. 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 Whoever I am, I should get two. Yeah. 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 This should have worked the opposite. Yeah. 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 So, okay, when, when I was a kid, I had to talk pretty loud, right? Because if I didn't talk loud, you know. I wouldn't hear it. Wouldn't hear it. Yeah. So I've gotten used my whole yeah. life just fucking talking at 11. But, uh, you know, there's this thing that you would do when I was a kid that would drive me fucking nuts, which is uh, while you were downstairs, you would ask me to get you the remote, even though it was ne right next to you. Right? Pretty much the only thing. Yeah, and I feel like you have the right to do that. Wait a minute. What, what was I doing when I asked you? You were on your exercise bike. Oh, and I your, didn't want to get off? Yeah, and you were drinking your cracking and cut. Would, would I know where the remote was, or was I asking you to get it because you put it somewhere and I couldn't well, find I never it? I see what it is. I never watched the remote. I never watched the TV downside. I was very in my in my room type of kid. So, it's so, you know. you, so you guys just moved the remote to fuck or, with me? Or maybe one of our eight, yeah. eight stepmoms, one of them. Eight stepmoms? Hold up. What? Seven oh, stepmoms? How many have I had? I'm a bad man, but it is, uh -huh. okay? It's okay. five. Is it okay. five? It's five. Okay, let's see. Gene. No, don't name them. <laughs> <laughs> do not okay. do that, okay? okay. <laughs> I, 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 I remember more than that, but maybe you no, forgot there was about five. them. There was five. Okay. All right. Maybe they're girlfriends. Who knows? Regardless. Well, that doesn't count. Well, like, so, all right, so Tectone said that whenever he was in high school, yeah. you had a separate apartment for them to be at, so you could have privacy with your own apartment. Fourth grade, fourth grade. For, wait, that was fourth grade. Oh, fourth grade. Okay, yeah. all right, that's not untrue, yes. Yes. but that is but, a misrepresentation of the truth. So what was it? Okay. The truth was that I was at the Pentagon, and he and his brothers came to live with me, uh -huh. okay? And I was in a one-bedroom apartment yeah. with someone right. when they came the to live with The worst woman in human history. Oh, really? Is that true? No. <laughs> in my opinion, no. The no. worst. No, and we're not going to do that. Uh, sure. We're not going to do that. Sure. We're not going to do that. Sure. No, seriously, that's, that's wrong. They're not here to defend themselves. Uh -huh. Fine. But the reason he and his brothers <laughs> yeah. had a different apartment right. was because I had a one-bedroom Okay. And they only had one bedrooms and two bedrooms. Yeah. So he and his brothers went into a two bedroom that was down the hall until four months later when we moved to a house. Okay. Together. All right. So yes, he and his brothers were in an apartment, but it wasn't because of anything other than I wasn't in an apartment right. that, that you could legally have five quote, adults in. So you were you were working at the Pentagon then. Like, I was he's in fourth grade. So like yeah. I do some math in my head. You you were telling me earlier, you were at the Pentagon whenever 9-11 happened. Yeah, That shit is crazy. What happened? Um, well, it, it's... Can you say? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, some 19 Saudi nationals and one Pakistani guy right. got on airplanes. They'd been training at flight centers all around America. They didn't know how to land. They just knew how to take off. And they... They crashed airplanes into buildings. Damn. And and my two older sons were going to this high school called 71st High School. Uh -huh. And President Obama would go there and because it was the most diverse high school in America. But they weren't they were gone from there by then. But this was in 2001, 2002. And and originally I was reported as missing presumed dead. Because the meeting that I was supposed to be in is where the plane impacted the building. Mm. But I shit. wasn't there. I mm. was at Starbucks across the street when my secretary called and said, you know, where are you? You're supposed to be in this meeting. And I was rushing back to go to the meeting, and I came out of a pedestrian tunnel underneath the interstate there in D.C., and I heard Godzilla off to my left. And I looked, and it wasn't Godzilla. It was an airliner. And it came over the little highway there, hit the ground, to the east, to the west of the Pentagon, bounced and then went into the west side of the Pentagon. Wow. And so I was in the building helping get casualties out. Damn. Cell phones didn't work, so his older brothers couldn't get a hold of me, and the Army listed me as missing in action. I wasn't. But his brothers were going to school with the Saudi and Pakistani ambassadors' kids. And, that must have been um, awkward. They were running cross country <laughs> with them. Well, yeah. At this point in time, we don't know who was on the airplanes. Okay. Initially, we didn't know who was on those airplanes. Yeah. And um, anyway, these these kids were telling my two older sons that America deserved 9-11. Oh. Oh, no. Because of our tolerance of homosexuals. Damn. Yeah. So when I finally showed back up and I'm talking to right. my sons, 
they're asking permission to beat these kids up. <laughs> and that's when I told them, I said, look, either everybody has free speech or nobody has free speech. Yeah. You can't pick and choose who gets to say what they want based on whether you like it or dislike it or whether you like or dislike them. Yeah. Either we all have rights or nobody has rights. And so that was, I said, the only time you're allowed to put your hands on somebody uh -huh. is either A, they've put their hands on you. There it is. Or B, they've told you they're going to put their hands on you. Before we get too off track, I was telling you earlier about how, uh, you know, you asking that remote would just be so fucking irritating, <laughs> right? So I want to go back here. Is this okay. we're, getting, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Though. We're okay, getting somewhere. The reason I would ask him to come get the remote, it was the only exercise the fat little shit would do. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> That's why I would yeah. say, John, come get the remote. Because uh -huh. that was it. Yeah. He'd disappear into his room and he'd come out a week later and the maid would go up and empty out all the Slim Jims and everything else oh. that was up there. And the, and the piss cans. And, oh, God. Wait, oh, wait, 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 what? Okay, okay, so. I'm proud of this. this. Is when I was you started playing wow. I'm proud of it. Yeah, I was gaming. Oh, his, his two older brothers had girlfriends. Right. Now, they eventually, <laughs> they eventually oh, married yeah. these girls, right? right. Oh, yeah. And um, oh, fuck. they're trying to suck up to me because they want me to appreciate them being with my sons. And I, I was just happy any girl was with my sons. Um, you know, they were socially inept, and I was just thrilled to see Yeah, any, they are. I was just thrilled to see any woman put up with them, and— and they have wonderful wives. But anyway, these these two women are, I don't know what the proper term is. I mean, they were young, so I guess I could say they were still girls. Whatever, right? yeah. But they were young. I mean, they were... Probably twice. And they, and they came and they asked me if they could clean his room. Yeah. <laughs> because the maid just couldn't get in there. Right. I had a maid, but she couldn't get in there. So they, she didn't even want to do it. Was it no, that no, bad? No, no, no. She could not get in there. She physically well, couldn't get in there. Physically, she could not I show open you, the door. If I show you a picture of my room, can you tell me if his was worse? Yeah. Okay, oh. yo, can we pull up the picture of, like, we have a, it, it's like in front of it, well, I mean, honestly, you could do any of them, right? Just search Asmund Gold Room. Are any of your yeah. cups in your room filled with pit? Stop! I'm telling a story, man. So you, you gotta chill. Yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, okay, so this one, right? So tell me. Oh, that's nothing compared to his room. Oh, is that a no, fucking that is fact? Nothing. That's clean. wow. That is organized. So, wow. What, what, was, that is organized. what was preventing them from getting in? Because you say you they couldn't get the door physically open. couldn't. There oh, was so much stuff. Then how did he get in? He's strong. Well, I also yeah. just wouldn't leave. I also had two extra. Yeah. I had an extra door. And okay, now well, you got this. a bonus okay. door. Yeah, yeah there was a door outside. that went outside, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. and then there was a door that went to the bathroom. Yeah, and the kitchen and all that stuff. So, the door that went to the bathroom was the one the maid couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. And the maid was afraid to go in the backyard because there were road runners back there. And uh -huh. so anyway, these two young women they say, "Can we?" clean John's room. Now, I'm thinking, well, if I say no, they're going to think that I don't approve of them. Right. Or that I don't think they know how to, because they're wanting to demonstrate their domestic skills. Of course. Naturally. You know, they want me to know that they will take good care of my sons. And so I, I think if I go, yeah, throw that back up. That's giving me inspiration. So I, I tell them, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. So they're in there cleaning. And I mean, they're, they're in there, they're in there, they're in there. Right. They're in there some more. And then they call me to the kitchen. Yeah. And they've got like 15 or 20 Coke cans uh -huh. sitting on the counter. Yeah. They're all open. And they asked me, what do I want them to do with the Coke cans? I said, well, throw them away. They go, well, they're still full of Coke. Oh, shit. And I go, oh, shit. I go, I don't think that's Coke. And then they go to pour one out and they realize that those Coke cans are all full of urine. Right, right. These girls about died. Damn. You know, because they were moving that and they, they were, you know, but they just thought it was Coke spilling on them yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. There was 19 or, there was a whole bunch of Coke cans full. So, and, so and it was only. 10 feet from his computer screen to the bathroom. But what you right. have to understand is when you're raiding in World of Warcraft and you're in the middle of a fight, you can't just leave. So why had you ever, <laughs> did you ever take a sip out the wrong one? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I oh, told, man, that's no, recycling. No, no, I told you. Remember, I had the spit hey, cup too. Hey, Gandhi did it. 
Uh, you know, if Gandhi could do it, anybody can, right? So he's basically Gandhi. That's right. I mean, that's just how it is. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's, it is a positive. He got the haircut. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely got the haircut. But yeah, he... Um, and then they were... I don't think we should talk about what was on the walls, right? We'll what leave, the leave fuck? That yeah, we'll oh, leave that no. out. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, oh. Come. Yeah. And, Damn. And they didn't know what it was, and they asked his brothers. and, and you give him a black and, light? And, and, and it was up there. Damn. Man, it, it was up there. That's right. it was on the computer screen. It was up there. It was up there. <laughs> so how old was he? How old were you? I was like six, junior, yeah, senior, senior like high school. Damn. Like, look at this normal Damn. kid shit. So he, you know? um, Is it? What? No, Is that, that normal? I threw up on my floor. I never cleaned it up. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's still you're bad. Asking, but you're but... asking the wrong guy, actually. Yeah. Uh, so I have OCD, so I can't yeah. do that. Is there that. a normal guy here? Jay! Is that I, normal? I'm normal. Okay. He said no. Okay. <laughs> Th that's not true. There's yeah, a difference between lying. what is normal and what is abnormal. Okay. Yeah. yeah that that's is fair. a normal thing that happens with teenage boys. You got to piss in a can sometimes. But it's not abnormal. Yeah. I mean, okay. you wouldn't want to do it, but it's, it's, not, it's not abnormal. It's not uncommon. Yeah. It's just yeah. it's, not. It's very common. Okay. okay. When, when we yeah, started yeah, playing yeah. Pokemon Go back in 2016, Ooh. his his brother's Pokemon name was what? Beat Sock. Right. And I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I know what it is. I didn't know what it was. But yeah. we're at a raid, and one of the other people raiding reported his Look. brother to Niantic, and Niantic said either change your stream name for Beat Sock. From Beat Sock, right? Or we're gonna have to ban you. You're, so. tracking, you're tracking Beat Sock, right? Yeah. Beat what do you sock. mean I'm tracking Beat Sock? Like you know what that means? Yeah, he knows what it means. Tracking. Okay, what I just want to make sure. Of course, I know yeah. what it yeah. fucking yeah. means. Yeah. Yeah. But an another <laughs> story but, but, about. Wait, 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 wait. I want to tell you about what, what I'm getting about here. Oh, okay. Okay, so like, I, you would say that I was a pretty good son. I'd say you were a great son. All right. Cool. And I, I don't care. What, your your relationship with your dad. Did you ever do any crazy shit whenever he would like piss you off? My dad, my dad beat me every day until I got kicked out of the house when I was 16. Okay, yeah, so sucks. no, I didn't do crazy shit. Okay. I mean, I, I spoke up for myself, yeah. which I guess in hindsight was probably crazy because yeah. it got me beat. Yeah. You can't believe how many misprints there were in the World Almanac every year. Uh huh. We'd be talking about who won the batting title <laughs> for the National League or the American League, and I'd show it to my dad in the World Almanac. Yeah. And I'd get hit for arguing with him, and it was obviously a misprint. So uh, no, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mess with my dad. Okay. <laughs> right. So so I messed with you twice. You did. I don't think you ever knew about it. I'm, of course I did. Just didn't. only twice, and well, it was when. It was when we were living, uh, I think maybe once in El Paso and one in Austin, right? So I was probably like 18. The other time I was like 15, right? Because, you know, I was a pretty crazy kid. I was always playing video games, you know? Uh, you remember Spike? Our cat, Spike. Yeah. Who the fuck names a cat Spike? That's a dog's name. I think that's cute. I didn't name him Spike. Yeah. You did. You, you, you got to meet this cat. Is that right? This cat would fuck up dogs. And oh, this cat was vicious. Ooh, he was Spike. big. He was big. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he didn't mess with me. He would fight anything. What the fuck? Yeah, he was a cool cat. So, so go the, ahead. I, just want to, I, just want, I want to clear my conscience. Yeah, okay. Because I, you know, I never told you about this. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that Spike would take really big fucking pisses? Like every now and then you'd be like, damn, buddy. I didn't know a cat could piss this much. Are you, what, you were hiding these litter boxes? No, I would piss in his litter box. Oh, so he wouldn't go in there? No, <laughs> so you would have to clean the piss out of his litter box. <laughs> So that I would? Yeah. Oh, I didn't clean that litter box. And they did. Oh, Techie! Oh, it's guilt free! Oh, no, it's guilt free! Is that not oh, worse? Fuck fuck up, you know? Know? Hey, oh, God. I feel We're like that's worse of this than that poor woman. Speaking of this oh, maid. Oh, my God. So I'm there, and, and I can't keep up with him. When handshakes are all good. Okay, I, I, cool, know, There's one cool. more you got to tell me about. Anyway, so. It's the same thing twice. Oh, I couldn't keep up with him. I, mm. Keeping things clean. Yeah. So I, I always needed a maid. And... You know, I'd still vacuum the house every day because uh -huh. we had cats and cat litters. I'd vacuum it. Yeah. So, but we had a maid. And so I put an advertisement on Craigslist in El Paso. And this girl shows up. And uh, she's got on her volleyball uniform because she's come from volleyball practice. All right. And we're talking. And, you know, she's a setter. She's mm -hmm. tall. And um, what was her name? I don't going to say her name, oh. okay? Oh, right. We shouldn't do that. Can't say her name. But anyway, okay. she came and, uh, you know, I, I, I asked her what year she was and she said she was a junior. Yeah. So, you know, junior at UTEP, you know, 
plays volleyball at UTEP. And so she's looking at my house and um, it's a five bedroom house. Uh-huh. It's not fancy or anything. It's on the military base. And I said, can you clean it? She says, yeah. I said, well, okay, what do you want? She says, well, $25 a week. And I said, I, I, I can't, I can't pay you $25 a week. You know, I got three sons and she thought that that meant that the sons were helping clean. She right. says, well, how about 20? I said, no, no, you don't understand. I can't pay you less than a hundred dollars a week to clean up uh. after my pig sons. So a hundred dollars a week. And to which she then replies, Colonel, I only clean. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So she thought, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she, she thought that that's so, but so I'm thinking she's a junior in college, right? Right. No, after she's been cleaning for us like a year, yeah. we find out that she's a junior in high school. Ooh. Yeah. And she had a crush on his older brother. Yeah. Who was getting weak. What do they get? Are they married now too? No, I had I had the uh-huh. letter. I had the letter. No, she was she wasn't of age. Right, right. And he was in the army. Oh my god. So I had the I, okay. I had the cut sling of pops. But that girl Shit. would clean, but she could never get in John. She tried to get in John's room a couple times. She really? just couldn't make it happen. Yeah. Damn. Couldn't make it happen. Just and sometimes there'd be two or three kids in there right. that you wouldn't be able to see. I yeah. mean, you just look in and you couldn't tell there was anybody in there. And then the assistant principal from the high school would call and ask me, was da 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 there at my house. And then that's when I'd go in and I'd start poking. Right. And, and then I'd get a response. So they'd be trying to hide in there no, under they, the garbage they and shit? No, they would be trying to hide. Yeah. They would just be... Sleeping. So where's the where's the picture of this? I gotta see this shit. Oh no, that's neat. No, no, but I want to see his. Like oh. if you say it's that bad, you no, have it was, to. It was beyond th- that. There's bad. no chance. But no, there's you don't no have pictures. Picture. There's no pictures. Oh, really? Well, the house burnt down. Oh. Well, that probably was a good thing. The house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was deployed. I was in Afghanistan. Yeah. And he and his yeah. his middle brother are in the house right. because the older brother, who was also in the army, was at Ranger School at the mm-hmm. time. And um, there was a shortage in the microwave microwave in the kitchen, uh-huh. and it started an attic fire. Okay, and so they they got out. Then we and, had to, we had to go back in. Well, they they got out, and then they're they're bragging that they went back in to get Spike, like the cat. firefighters. They, they went back yeah. in to get Spike the cat, and I'm supposed to be proud of them for going back in. I said, I'm not proud of you for going back in. Yeah. I'm upset that you left without him. In the first place. Right. Then necessitating that you had to go back and find him in the smoke and the fire. Yeah. You shouldn't have gone out without him. To be fair, I was not the one who complained about that. That was my brother. Did they get the cat though? Yeah, but it was in his room and they Uh couldn't find it. No, it was in the laundry room. I thought he was in your bedroom. No, it was in the laundry room. No, he was in the carrier um, next to the laundry room. Yeah. That was insane. the, The house burnt down. And, and the neighbors saw us naked, yeah, and they were and, hot yeah, as fuck. And, so that, that and, was embarrassing uh, as shit. And and I'm getting calls from the, you know, the colonel that was the quote mm-hmm. commander of the housing area. Why do I have these sons living alone? I said, What are you talking about? Two of them are army officers, yeah. <laughs> and the other one's a senior or junior in high school. Yeah. they're not alone, asshole, right. motherfucker. And um, <laughs> yeah. can we? Do you feel comfortable telling the story about ordering pizza or no? Oh shit. Go from Florida? Yeah. No, we don't need to do that. I mean, basically what happened was... I'll say it, so that way you don't have to worry about nothing. Well, okay, yeah. You I'm going to keep it vague. Yeah, okay. keep it vague. Over our family, attempting to order a pizza. Well, it was a reunion. Every, sure. Everybody was at my house in Florida. Like, how, how many people? Oh, like 20, barely. 30? Maybe maybe like seven or eight. Oh, no, seven no, or eight? No, 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 no. There was... And I, we can't... Well, let's not name names. There's no, there, two of us. Then three with the other one, no, and then no, no, two. There, there was there was you and what's yeah. your face? Yeah, maybe maybe ten or eleven. And then there was me and what's your face? Yeah, that's four. Yeah, and then there was him with him two, with three more. <laughs> three? So that's yeah. Okay, so that's eight. And then there was so that was eleven. And then there was your aunt Karen and your uncle Bruce. And I don't think aunt, they were. I don't think they were there. Yeah, everybody was there. There was fifteen or twenty okay. people there. Right. Guys, we have never had. And a here's family. what I do. I just. Emmy, what do you want to eat? You tell me what you want. Yeah. As, what do you want? You yeah. tell me what you want. Every time. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to get pizza if he wants sushi. Yeah. I just go around. Oh, he, and, he would never. And he would pay for right. it. Yeah, we, yeah, we can trade. I just <laughs> go around and I find out what everybody wants and then I uh-huh. I 
call the because I'm you know I'm from there, so yeah. I know the good restaurants. And you pay for it, and I get it, every and everybody time. get what they want, and I don't have to worry about it, right? Yeah. But let's just say, well, I mean, but other, this one brother. Oh, if you're sure you want to say it, this one brother. I'm not gonna say names. This one brother wanted pizza from a pizza place, yeah. and it was a pizza place that I didn't know. And I said, well, it's probably not very good if I don't know it. Let me there ask. Let me ask your aunt Karen. Right. And she's never left Daytona Beach. Been there for 60 years. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and she's in the school system and her husband's the editorial cartoonist for the newspaper. So, and they don't have kids. So uh-huh. they eat out all the time. They, and they're big. Oh. So they know where the good food is. <laughs> yes. So I said, Karen, do you know this? And she didn't know it. No, I've never heard of that. So I say to my son, I said, well, everybody says that they don't know that place. So why don't you let me get pizza from Mario's? Because it's, the best fucking pizza I've ever eaten. Right. He didn't want that. He wanted this pizza. So, okay, got it. So I go around and I get everybody's order and I know the phone numbers for all, like, I, you want sushi? I know where. You want a sub? I know where. You want fried chicken? I know where. But I didn't know this pizza place. So uh-huh. I say to my son, hey, do you have the phone number, right? Do you have the phone number to the pizza place? Yeah. Uh, right? Simple. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, man. I thought I was getting my head cut off. Right. I'm not kidding you. Okay. I, I'll say then. Over, I've never had a family re- reunion that did not end in somebody thinking they're going to die. It's Every like a, single one. Like our, family, our family legit. They I can, never thought I was dying. They, uh, okay. Somebody right thought we, like literally, I would try my hardest to avoid every single family reunion because it would be fucking terrifying. Over pizza, guns. Yeah. Guns yeah. were pulled yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, for over sure. Over fucking and, pizza. And, and, because and, the scariest thing about my family well, is what was the conflict? to for a year and a half. Yes. Of, over this shit? Over, over the pizza. Over pizza. Yeah. Over but but pizza. that's all, it's all, it's all gone now and the, everything's the sca- great. And yeah. Besides great. my dad, you know, well, there was like a couple years where your emotions were a little out of control when you get back from deployment. But other than that, the scariest well, thing- like had me medicated. Now. Yes. <laughs> the scariest thing about my family is- Yeah. They can be fine. They can be happy. Yeah. Within the split but then, second. But then, yeah. Out of fucking nowhere, blind fury. Oh, wow. Throwing hands, throwing fists, Ooh. pulling out fucking guns. That is yeah. scary. It was I, I fucking never saw horrible. guns. Uh-huh. And I'm glad, I'm glad for you. I never saw guns. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, well. And I never saw him fight. Right. I, I never saw him fight. I know that. I'm when, trying to think of situations when, when he you was would've. younger, his brothers, because they were older. Yeah. And he was. I don't, I don't mean to be, aff- I'm not trying to offend anybody. This is a true statement. Oh, sure. He was chubby. He's yeah. a fat ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh-huh. his brothers, yeah. as a matter of fact, his stomach uh-huh. had its own name. What Ralph. was it? Ralph. 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 Damn. That's, and he gross. Would say, that's bad. He would say, Ralph needs, you know, this, Ralph. The first two oh things he God. learned to say, the first two phrases he yeah. ever knew were, <laughs> French fry. Coke sheen French fry. <laughs> Coke sheen. Coke sheen French fries. Coke sheen French fries. And he knew where they were. He'd point hey, them out. To be fair, I had to learn how to be very adorable very quickly. I had to learn how to manipulate people. But, but his brothers would pinch him and tickle him. And, and you know, when you're the one being tickled, it's pretty, it's not fun. But when you're the one doing the tickling, oh, we're just playing. Well, it ain't playing yeah. to the person getting tickled. You right. Know? Do you remember when I took us all to Cracker Barrel? I came down... And I took you to Cracker Barrel and I paid for it. Because when you were a kid, you paid for literally every meal. Didn't matter who they were. You'd pay for every single person's meal. But then I took you to Cracker Barrel and I paid for it. And I showed you my PayPal of me getting $1,000 for my first paycheck from Twitch. Yeah, I remember that. That was uh, one of the proudest days of my life, yeah, man. That was a big deal. Aww. So yeah. I, I am curious. How was it versus when you saw that I started to do content creation versus what I am now, which is, you know, like okay, it's my well, full-time career. You, you have to understand that mm. I didn't really understand content creation. Yeah. I still don't. Move you this way. I mean, I, I know what you guys do and it amazes me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I sort of can get my brain around these these gamers that do a game and they stream about that game and they, you know, tell you the- People like watching the game. You know, and, yeah, and and they tell you how to get shit. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, I've got a buddy in Singapore that's one of the Pokemon Go guys. Okay. I think he's the best guy in the world. I won't mention his name, uh-huh. but he's a great guy. Yeah. I mean, he'll come to events and spend hours just talking to little kids and, and he wears sweatpants and a t-shirt. Not like a yeah. Minecraft YouTuber, like a normal talking to kids. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just, you know, just talking to yeah. them about, you know, what's yeah. your favorite Pokemon? Well, here, I'll trade you one from Singapore uh-huh. and that kind of stuff. Just a super nice guy. And 
and he makes a good amount of money doing that. I bet. Um, but Niantic bans him now and then. For, what? Yeah, because, you know, they got, he was promising people that he would get them a hundo. Uh-huh. You know, give me your account info, and I'll play till I get you a hundo. Yeah. For anybody who's doing a hundo, is, it's 100%. a hundred percent, hundred percent Pokemon. Yeah, like max he wasn't value. cheating to get him. He's just that uh -huh. good a player, and he plays all the time, and he drives <clears throat> around playing. And he would just go find it. He would do the work. Yeah. Well, Niantic didn't like that, so they banned him for thirty what days. Account sharing. Yeah, yeah. of course, right? Uh, but he wasn't hurting anybody, and you know. But anyway, so he got banned. But I understand that part. Right. But a, a lot of this other stuff that the content creators do, I just you know, like it's, what. What is the thing that you well, I don't know how you guys can get online and do this podcast without writers. You know, it's ama it amazes me. Well, I, I mean, did you need a writer to say everything yeah, you said? We, well, I'm doing just it just today. Out. Right? I, I don't know that I can... Well, okay. You're yeah, good. I, I can do it every day, but I'm 72. Right. And I was in the military 41 years. Yeah. And I did a lot of other stuff. Right. So, yeah, but, I mean, he's not even... Well, he just... He's not... Yeah, he just turned 30. Yeah. I mean, where you guys come up with this there's stuff? There's always, so, always like, crap happening. There's I mean, always yeah, he's in drama There's all the time. so much <laughs> stupid shit that happens all the time. And the one thing is that people are dumb as fuck on the internet. And so you will always have the next thing to think about, the next thing to talk about. Yeah, it's and like that will the news. never not be true. You know, there's always something new in the news. Like, yeah. Especially them too. Yeah, they, they I, yeah. Like I hate every day when I turn my phone on and look at the news. Really? <laughs> I hate it. I mean, I've got 10 grandkids and two great grandkids. Wow. And I, I feel, didn't know that. I feel bad. Yeah. That's what I'm Because I, I look at where... They're growing up into this world. Hey, look, you, it was rough when I was a kid and it was civil rights. Oh, yeah. And it was the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. It was rough. And I didn't think it could ever approach that again. So where's it at now compared to that? You were able to govern because the parties would find common ground and they would govern. But but the now that's not the case anymore. I right. mean, you know, everybody says Bill Clinton was a great president. Yeah. But that's because Newt Gingrich, the Speaker of the House, oh yeah, he and Clinton would compromise. Yeah. They don't do that anymore. Everything's so polarized between way over here and way over here, and there's very few people in the middle, and it's tearing the country apart. And how they govern is they make me afraid of you and you afraid of her, and they play Naturally. us, you know, they play us all against one another like everybody's got their own private agenda. Yeah. And I mean, yes, there are people out there that want to represent a demographic, and those people have an agenda. Oh, they do. Because they're making money off representing that oh, demographic yeah. and they got power representing that demographic. And, you know, the, so I, I, I was in Florida for the oh. 2020 election. Ooh. Okay. And, the one that was rigged. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I got to be honest, I, I don't think I can ever go back to Florida. You think so? It was so divisive. Yeah. I mean, people that had been neighbors and friends for 50 years were burning bags of dog shit in their neighbor's yards, whether they had a blue sign or a red sign. So you are, you 72, how the fuck did that happen? Because you said it wasn't like that before, right? So how, how did we get here? Well, I mean. You think it's okay, like social media, like social internet media or what? Social media has a huge Really? Because people are more informed. Okay. Well, they're, okay. Informed. No, no, no. Uh -huh. They're not more informed. They think they There's are. There's just more information that they have access yeah. to that they believe because Makes it's there. Informed. Right. It's, it's, it's on there. They believe it. Yeah. Like, people ask me, do I think the 2020 election was rigged? Uh-huh. My answer to that is, I don't know. Yeah. But it. I wouldn't want to stake my life on yes or no as the answer because I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing I do know. Right. It is a historical fact uh -huh. that Joe Kennedy bought Illinois, Chicago for Jack Kennedy. And that's how Jack Kennedy won the 1960 election. That is uh -huh. a fact. Uh, you know, I that mean, is a fact. But you do what you got to so, do. Exactly. Yeah. So for, for people to be indignant 
We're sitting out here. All we get to know is what we see on the news yeah. and maybe what somebody tells us. And the news isn't news anymore. It's spin. Everybody's spinning. When like, did that start? Because my dad said it happened like at the time of Vietnam. I don't know. We had Walter Cronkite during Vietnam and he was, was the that. voice of America. Yeah. He was the CBS news guy. He, you know, I know the story. Yeah. yeah. He, I, <laughs> the real spinning started, I mean, the real, real, real spinning yeah. probably started after 9-11. You think that's what it was? Mm -hmm. I think that's when it got really out of control. Because that was crazy after that happened. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that. You know, and and look. You remember airports before 9-11? Do I remember uh, what? Airports only, before 9-11. I only airports. went one or two times. Airports. Oh, do I remember airports? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the one time I screamed I had a bomb when I was at an airport? No, I don't remember Ricky. that. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. I was with I was, you? I, yeah, I was, well, you, yeah, you grabbed me. I did? I was okay. in like fourth grade and I was playing a video game. Right. Oh. And then I had a soda can, right? And I went to go, you know, throw it in the trash can. And I just yell, frag out. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I had a frag bomb. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was insane. That was but really yeah, fucking stupid. 9 11 <laughs> stuff yeah. started getting spun. And I mean, look, everybody likes to denigrate President Bush. Uh huh. Because we never found WMDs. Never did. But I tell you what, I was on the ground. Is that right? We absolutely believed there were WMDs. Yeah. And I will tell you this from firsthand knowledge. Uh -huh. Saddam Hussein, Yeah. he believed he had a nuclear weapons program. Oh. He believed it. Yeah. Now, he was being lied to. But, you know, we're sitting over here. If we think he... if. If, if our if information we think he tells us, it, and then he thinks he thinks it, then, he thinks it. Yeah. He thinks he's got it. How? Right. So was it all a big mistake? Absolutely, because every night on the nightly news, you had stuff on there that recruited terrorists to hate America. Oh, that still happens. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes on every day. You, oh, you can't, yeah. There's movies about it. There, you know, and look. We either care about each other, yeah, or we don't. And if we don't, there's no there's no saving us. I think people just lost their minds, you know, especially like after COVID. I think COVID really dialed it up a lot because like people spend two years in their house getting radicalized by the internet, and then you let them loose, and they're just gonna go ape shit. Yep. Like I can't wait for this election. This election is probably well, gonna be worse than the last one. Talking about the election. Oh boy. Let's, talking about the election. Uh -huh. To buy a drink in a bar, yeah, you got to show an ID. Yeah. Why are people upset about having to show an ID to vote? Who the I, fuck knows? I don't understand that. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're going to vote. <laughs> people think that they're, oh, I'm, I'm brown. You don't want me to vote. If you look at the polls, yeah. they're going to all go vote for the guy that just got out of court today. Because they identify with him now. Because oh, yeah. yeah. They're identifying with him because he's being persecuted. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I don't understand why everybody gets upset about showing an ID. Because all they're wanting to well, do is, is to make sure that I'm voting for the representative that represents where I live yeah. and not where you live. I think the reason why is every single issue, every single thing, there are two sides of it. And there's like, sometimes there are just things that make sense that half of people get convinced into getting in a fight about it. That's what I think happens. I, I know they hate each other. Oh, they do. It's, it's I mean, and, and our kids watch it. Yeah. You know, I mean, God. And I, like so I said- So do you have I, social media? I worry about my grandkids. Yeah. Well, do you, do you use social media or anything like that? You mean, do I have like accounts? Yeah, and, like Twitter, Facebook, shit like that. Yeah, I have Facebook because I have to have Facebook to have Facebook Messenger so we can organize Pokemon Go raids. Okay, so you basically <laughs> don't have social media no, then, I right? No, I don't. I, don't, okay. I, don't, I mean, somebody will ask me a question about where's the Pokemon Go raid. And uh -huh. Which I will say, if we don't talk about it, uh, Pokemon Go is the best thing to happen to my dad. Is that right? Well, here's the truth. This is, okay, so when I retired from the military, yeah, I was, I was... I was angry, uh -huh. but I didn't know that I was angry. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and um, 
They don't call it paranoia. They call it hypervigilance. Yeah. They don't call it, you're not paranoid, you're hypervigilant. And uh, so I, unless he was home, yeah, I didn't go out. I didn't go places by myself. Uh-huh. And, and if he was around or one of his brothers was around, then then we'd go out. But I wouldn't go out by myself. And um, the, the few times that I did, bad stuff happened. Oh. Um, like I was I was at the Target down on Slaughter Lane. <laughs> I remember this. I was at the Target down on Slaughter Lane because I, you know, my, my VA psychiatrist yeah. would ask me, you know, was I socializing? And so I would go and get coffee at the Target from the Starbucks and I'd, the I'd one at South Park Meadows? Yeah. Yeah. And I'd ask the, you know, the barista's got her name on. And mm-hmm. then I'd tell my psychiatrist, yeah, I was talking to Sarah. I wouldn't tell him that Sarah was the barista at Starbucks, right? right. Or I'd, I'd talk to Jeff, you know, another barista at Starbucks. I wasn't talking to very many people. And then I was in that Starbucks and the girl there said to me, or the lady, the woman, you know, she was a teenager. She said that she was real happy because it was a Thursday and she said it was her Friday. And it was a Thursday before the midterm elections in 2014. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, well, you know me, I'm retired Army every day Saturday. And she <laughs> laughed. And then this voice from around the corner says, referring to President Obama in the very most negative terms you can imagine. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, so he's referring to President Obama saying that President Obama was going to steal my military retirement to help pay for... He must have seen that on a YouTube video. Yeah, but he saw it and he said it. <laughs> yeah. And and I just said, hey, yo, bud, there's women and kids here. Chill. Yeah. And then he called the president a liar. Uh-huh. And I said, hey, bud, you know, the weatherman's wrong half the time. It yeah. doesn't make him a liar. It makes him mistaken. Perhaps the president yeah. was mistaken about, you know, his... His, the information he got, he interpreted it wrong. That doesn't make him a liar. It just makes him wrong. People fuck up. You know, we all make mistakes. And then he tells me he's going to beat me up. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's a big boy. But, but you, you know, were like, you were, how old was he? Oh, he was 22, I think. So you were 60 years old. He oh. trying to get in a fight with a 60-year-old man at a Starbucks yeah, and a yeah. Target. Well, yeah, he was going to beat me up. That, what's so crazy? It's like, I feel like that is the most chill Target. Like, everywhere <laughs> around there. Like, where the fuck did this dude come from? I've been from? to that yep. Target, too. Texas, yeah. Texas, well, we won't mention the university in Texas that he had the sweatshirt on for. But, oh yeah, but God. so I, you know, I, I had to put him down on the ground. and Really? Yeah. And um, the store manager wanted me to let him up. And I said, I can't let him up till the police get here. He's too big. Yeah. And now he knows I can put him down there. So now I don't have the advantage of surprise. Yeah. So let's just chill to, so the police come. And the manager's over there complaining about me, but there's right. there's all these mothers over there and the baristas talking to the yeah. other police. And finally, the sergeant that shows up comes up and says, can you make court on the 9th of December? Ooh. I said, man, you're going to charge me? He said, no, 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 we're, we're charging him. Yeah. I said, really? He said, yeah, he's facing four felony charges. Wait, how? Assault on somebody over the age of 65, battery on somebody over the age of 65, uh-huh. assault on a 100% disabled veteran, and battery on a 100% disabled veteran. Damn, Those are all class up. C yeah. felonies in Texas. So what happened? Well, I went to court and, you know, at, at that point in time, I didn't know what kind of sentences the kid was facing. Right. And he's there with these parents, and, you know, the judge thanks me for my service and, you know, and says all those glowing things that people yeah. say when they're trying to make a point. And he asked me what kind of sentence did I think the kid deserved. And I said, I don't know, Your Honor. What are, what are the options? And he says, well, seven, 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 and seven. And I said, weeks, months? He says, no, years. I said, Your Honor, no. I don't, I don't think anybody deserves 28 years in prison. I don't right. care what they did unless it was, you know, murdering little kids or something. Sure, said, some crazy know, but, shit. But no, he, he, he doesn't need to go to prison for years. How about just 28 days? Yeah. And he said, okay, thank you. That I was sit, it? I sit down, tells the kid to stand up. Kid stands up with his lawyer and his dad. And the kid turns and looks at me and says, I will find you, old man. I am going to fuck you up. And so the judge gave him seven years. Fuck him. 
Yeah. <laughs> what a stupid so, look. He he's, he's out. Oh, no? yeah, he's, he, he, I don't think he did very a much. Kid, a kid that has that kind of anger issues is probably yeah. still in. Well, he I probably mean, got himself involved in yeah, something else. He'll be back. But, but yeah, yeah, he'll be so, back. I mean, I just didn't go out unless right. he was with me or one of his brothers. And yeah. then I'd get my service dog, and that helped a lot. Yeah. Because not only did she help me not fall all the time, but she would let me know if somebody was an issue and she would turn me away. Right. And she'd see if there was an excitable dog and she would get between me and them. So that, because if somebody bumps me, I'll fall. Yeah. So she took good care of me and I, I got more comfortable with going out. Uh huh. And then in July of 2016, I was in San Marcos and, um, uh, my granddaughter, who was just turned four, mm -hmm. she had turned four on 31 May. Uh -huh. She calls me up and she said, Grandpa, Grandpa, I need you to take me for a walk. Okay. <laughs> so I go get her and we're walking around campus. And he had told me about Pokemon Go. Yeah. He had told me I needed to play it, but I had never played a video game. You did. Of any, oh, you played uh, Tiger Woods Golf Tiger for the Woods N64. Golf and, you got, and they cheated. Nice. Oh, yeah, they knew the codes. Uh -huh. yep. and, and I'm sitting there hitting it, and they're doing codes and putting rockets on the balls. And then and you played yeah. Donkey Konga. I never played that. Uh, no, no, we played uh, Guitar Hero. Yeah, rock bands. Yeah, and you guys got mad because, I mean, I could do that one because those were all songs I lived with. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I knew how. But, but anyway, so... She that's not to, why we got mad. She wanted to go for a walk. Oh, you got mad and went to your room. No, I, I got there. mad. That's not the reason, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. The problem is you were mad annoying. So uh, <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> so uh, we're walking around the campus, and she's got her little iPhone, and she's four yeah. years and a month. And I said, Lucci, what are you doing? She said, Grandpa, I'm playing Pokemon Go. Don't tell Mommy. Well, my rule as a grandparent is as long as it's not hurtful, I give my grandkids whatever they want. Yeah. It's my job to spoil them. It's their parents' job to raise them. Yeah. So, you know, so if they say they can have one dress, we get seven. You know, one pair of shoes, we get five or six. So uh, we're walking around and she's playing. And she says, Grandpa, give me your phone. <laughs> so I give her my phone, my iPhone. And she goes into the app store and down, she's four. Yeah. And she downloads the game and says, what you want your name to be? And oh. I didn't know. So she named me after the cat that we had, Spike. Because he had just died. Uh -huh. So she named me after Spike. Iron and, Spike. Yeah, but then I had to put a number on it because somebody already had it. So she yeah. says, what's your lucky number? And I said, 21. So that's how I became, you know, Iron Spike 21. And uh, so we're playing. And I didn't have to play. I mean, I knew about Pokemon because they collected the cards. Sure. Yeah. But I knew Pikachu and Charizard. That was all I knew. Right. I knew that Ash was from Pallet Town, but I didn't know anything else. Uh -huh. But I'm playing with my granddaughter. I didn't care. And we, I'd get her every day after she did whatever class she was doing, you know, ballet, gymnastics, yeah. piano. she i get her, and I'd get her for an hour and a half, and then I'd take her home, and she'd take a nap. And then her and her dad, my oldest son, would come out in the evenings there. And you remember how the game was in 2016? Everybody was Everybody doing Everybody was it. playing. And we're at San Marcos, and it was great, and it was fun. Oh, like at Texas yeah, State Texas and shit? State. Yeah, It was great. And I'm playing, but I sucked, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't throw a curve. I didn't know eggs had to go in incubators. I actually uh -huh. went to the Apple store bitching about my GPS because my eggs wouldn't hatch. Uh -huh. And the girl says, well, you, you got to put them in incubators. Yeah. Where the fuck you get those? You know, <laughs> I didn't know there was a store. Right. I didn't know there was a Pokedex. I didn't, mm -hmm. I, I just caught what I could catch and I'm playing. And so after about six weeks, she's like a level 32 and I'm a six. Oh, Okay. But I didn't care. I'm just playing with her. I didn't, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. And we're walking around campus, and she's bilingual, and uh, she's talking to some co-eds because classes are starting again. Yeah. You know, it's like late August, early September, and she's talking to these girls, and she comes running up, and she says, Grandpa, Grandpa, do you know what those girls said? I said, no, Lucy, what'd they say? She said, Grandpa, they said I'm a Pokemon master. Uh -huh. I Aww. said, you sure are. Grandpa's really proud of you. <laughs> and we turned to walk away, and the girls yelled at us. And it was in Spanish, and I only understood two words. Yeah. Abuelo, you know, grandpa, and Pokemon Go. Uh -huh. I didn't understand the rest of it because I just didn't hear it. And she takes my hand. She says, Grandpa, you know what they said about you? And I'm thinking they said, watch out for the pervert or something like that. Some shit, And yeah. I'm going to go punch him in the face. It is what it is. For talking like that to my granddaughter. I said, no, Lucy, what did they say? And she starts to cry. She said, Grandpa, they said you Pokemon Grasshopper. <laughs> And I had this epiphany that my grandchildren thought that my brain injury had made me stupid. Uh-oh. 
Yeah. And I didn't want my grandkids thinking grandpa was stupid. Right. So I went home and I, you know, I asked my wife, I said, hey, babe, you're, you're a millennial. <laughs> Can you help me with Pokemon Go? Uh-huh. And she says, no, it's a stupid game. But there's YouTube videos. So I log on to the YouTube videos. But yeah. They might as well have been in Japanese because I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Right. I didn't know about types and movesets. I didn't know any of that shit. Yeah. But I had an advantage over a four-year-old. I could play anytime I wanted. Mm -hmm. I could go out at night by myself and I have money. Yeah. And I was taking my wife on a world trip because right. she'd never been anywhere but Iowa and San Antonio. So we took off and went to San Francisco, New York City, Massachusetts, Paris, Rome. Oh, wow. Made our way around. And by the time we got back to Austin, unbeknownst to me, because I didn't know about the Pokédex. I yeah. didn't know how to get in there and find it. I had caught every Pokémon that was available at that point in the game, all 141 of them. Now, legendaries weren't out yet, but I had all 141, but I didn't know it. So we land at the Austin airport, and my son and my granddaughter pick us up, and my granddaughter says, Grandpa, let me see your phone. <laughs> so she takes my phone. I don't know why she wants it, but she's in getting into my Pokédex. And she says, Grandpa, you Pokédex are me in that uh -huh. Japanese cartoon yeah, voice. Yeah. She's talking to me in the cartoon voice. And I didn't realize that I had them all. Uh -huh. And I said, and I'd gone up in levels too, because, you know, when you caught a new Pokemon, it you levels got, you up. Yeah, it levels you up. And so I was, I think I was up to level 34 by then. She was still ahead of me. And uh, I said, well, Lucy, am I still a grasshopper? And she says, oh, Grandpa, you are Pokemon Master Trainer. Uh -huh. Now, look, I met two presidents <laughs> yeah. for shit that I did in the Army. Really? Was George Bush, though. What can you say? Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, who knows what we're all That pales to insignificance to your grandchildren thinking you're cool. Uh huh. <laughs> Nothing tops that. And my grandkids play, and so I just started playing every day, and I realized I had a full Pokedex. And, yeah. And his brothers, I mean, he'll tell you, I don't understand video games. I mean, you guys could, you know. His brothers had told me about Pokemon Go that when you got to level 40, yeah. You got $10,000, which I didn't care about. Money's not an issue. But they also told me I got an nice. Infinity Master Ball. Oh, wow. Okay, and I needed that because I couldn't even throw a curve. Yeah. So I needed a ball that would catch them. And every time. Every time. Yeah. So I needed that Infinity Ball. And they also told me I would get a pair of glasses mm -hmm. that I could put on my character. And it would take them to any region in the world to hunt region-specific Pokemon. So you could go in like to Australia. Japan or something Japan. like that. Yeah. You, you go to New Zealand and get Relican. Right. So I wanted that. Okay. Because, you know, I wanted that. Well, you know, so I worked real hard to get to level 40 and I got there pretty quick and I didn't get anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, His brothers, my brothers are not me. So, so yeah. you don't understand a whole lot about games. Do you understand like what gotcha games are? Pokemon Go is a gotcha game. So do you know how much money Tectone has spent on those games? Tectone. Your son, oh, John. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, thought you, you, I thought you were asking me about Niantic. I, I oh, did, yeah, my I bad, I didn't hear my bad. Tectone. I heard. Yeah. Um, I know he spent a lot, a lot. How much How much do you think a lot is? I, I'll bet he spent 100 grand. Man, if only that were true. More than 100 grand. Well, good. We're going to go car shopping this That's weekend. That's right. Wow. Dad needs a car. How, how is much, that it? How much do you think I spent? I thought a hundred grand, hundred fifty thousand. I, I swear to God, I'll tell you about this. Yeah, I spent uh, probably half a million. Probably about probably like six hundred, seven hundred thousand. Well, I can see that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can. That's I, right. so I mean, unfazed. Yeah. I mean, I look at these guys that that stream it. Yeah. I mean, they've got an egg on all the time. That you know, they're. I mean, okay, when 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 remote raiding. Yeah. When you were still allowed to do unlimited remote raids in Pokemon yeah. Go, which you can't do anymore. Uh -huh. But when COVID hit, they they, they they just let you do it. They let you do yeah. it, right? Which before COVID, remote raiding was called spoofing, right? And it right. was against the rules. But then when COVID hit, they didn't want to get lawsuits for us meeting to do raids. So they opened up remote raiding. I was spending 150 bucks a day on remote raid passes. Uh -huh. I was playing 24 hours a day with people in Japan and Australia, New Zealand, France. So for you to hear that, it's like not really that big of a deal. Yeah, you don't care, bro. Hey, fuck it, bro. Okay, here's I'll the just get it hey, back. Look, I mean, all joking aside. 
Yeah. As serious as I can be. Okay. Life, what's important in life is the experiences you have and the friends that you make. Uh -huh. How big your house is doesn't matter. What kind of car you drive doesn't matter. Oh, I know that. You know, I mean, how much money you got in the bank. I mean, as long as you can take care of yourself and the people that you're responsible for, it, it none of that matters. What matters mm -hmm. is hanging out with people you care about and doing stuff that makes them happy and you happy. Yeah. Because there's going to come a time when no matter what's going on, the only thing that's going to make you happy is a good bowel movement. Uh -huh. You know, because you're sitting in the nursing home and, you know, they're, they're giving you iron pills and you're getting yeah. constipated. So, you know, live your life and do the things, but don't hurt other people. I mean, if you're hurting other people, you'll never, you can't ever make up for that for, you know, I mean, I, you know, people ask me, what was the, about the military? What did you like? Well, I love the camaraderie. Yeah. I, I love the fact that young people like y'all joined the army in the military branches after 9-11, knowing that they were going to have to go to Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a sacrifice that you just, because we hadn't had anything like that since World War II. You know, Vietnam was fought with a drafted, I got drafted. You know, that's, Vietnam was fought with drafted soldiers. People weren't signing up. Yeah. And it was fought mostly with drafted soldiers of color. Uh -huh. You know, I mean- but when 9-11 happened, young Americans like you guys said, hey, we, we want to go. We want to take care of America. And that made me feel really good. What made me feel bad about the military? What's that? People that died. Yeah. You know, and everybody says, well, they were bad people. Well, I don't know that they were bad people just because they were on the other side of the equation. Yeah. I don't know that they were bad. You know, I mean, every you've seen that poster about the original freedom fighters and it's the, the Native the Americans. Taliban? Or, oh, yeah, yeah. The Apache Indians on uh -huh. horses, the original freedom that. fighters. The, oh, I thought it was the, the original Border Patrol. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I see that. To, to their people, they were the freedom fighters and we were the bad guys. Yeah, of course. You know, to the British. I we mean, were, if they had won the Revolutionary yeah. War, guess what it would yeah. fucking say? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Course. No, I get it. So I don't know that, you know, I don't know that the North Vietnamese were bad. Uh, I don't know. I mean, not, maybe, maybe the ideologically their government was bad, but yeah. on an individual basis, I don't think that they were evil. I think that's the case with most people, like even people that are in countries that you probably disagree with a lot on, like these are just normal people who want to live their life and not have to deal with anything. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not like people wake up and say, what does Vladimir Putin want me to do today? Right. You know, yeah. they, they, I mean, I'm pretty sure they <laughs> wish he wasn't their president. You he know? just won again. Yeah. It yeah. didn't need another six years. Yeah, he did. You know, and then they have a terrorist attack and everybody knows it was ISIS. And he blames it on the Ukraine, uh -huh. you know, and he controls the news stations over there. So that's all the Russian people are hearing. Yeah. They're not hearing that our CIA warned him there was a terrorist attack coming from ISIS and they ignored it. Yeah. And then they turn around, and blame it on the Ukraine. So I'm curious with, with how, you know, fucked up you think the country is today. What, what do you, what is some advice you think the youth needs to hear? They need to vote. They yeah. need to vote. And I don't care who they vote for. Okay. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. America was built on the fact that everybody gets to vote and they get to vote for who they want to vote for and nobody should denigrate who they vote for. Well, and, and that, that's, what's, and, and that's yeah. what we've got today. It's got to the point that if you vote like this, you're an idiot. If you vote like that, you're a Nazi. That's right. Stop. Who you vote, I don't, it's none of my business who she votes for or who you, it is none of my business. Yeah. You get your vote, I get my vote. And hopefully, they count them all and they count them correctly. Hopefully. But we're so polarized that people will do bad things because they're so afraid of the other side winning. That's right. Instead of just saying, hey, well, if we don't like what they do, we'll have another election in two years and change it. You know, so... Uh, it, people out of their mind. That's what it is. Yep. And and I think that really it's the uh, people that, like what you said about how they will do a bad thing and they do it for a good reason. That's the scariest thing. It's because, still a bad thing. And, and, yeah, but like in their mind, like this is the same mindset people had burning witches. Yep. 
You know, it's like, this is the history of humanity. This always happens. I, I don't know if it's ever going to stop. they didn't burn them, right? They drowned them, right? Well, they drowned them. Well, if they- In, if they in America, saw, they didn't burn any of them. That was an old English thing. They in did that like Jonah they just, Ark. They yeah. drowned them, right? I well, yeah, because like if they drowned yeah. them, they said if they- If they weren't a witch, they'd come back to the surface, right? No, uh, if they were a witch, they'd come back to the that's, surface. That's what it was, Right, yeah. because like that way, there's no way they could ever make yeah. a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Curious, yeah. Er, earlier in this podcast, you said yourself that- uh, and then, if you don't, you don't have the if you don't want to, uh, that your wife is a millennial, right? Yeah. So I am wondering. My so current wife. Your current wife is a millennial. Yeah. So for the people wondering at home, how is it being 72, being married to someone who's about to turn 30? How's, how's that? Uh, she's older than you. She's older than me? Yeah. By how much? Like a year or two? No, no, a few months. Okay, yeah. So yeah. what is that relationship like between a 72-year-old and a 30-year-old? What's the difficulties? What What are the... No more difficult than you and me. Okay. So it's not I a mean, big deal. Th things are only difficult if you want them to be. Right. I mean, okay, let's say that Emmy's making dinner tonight. And she works real hard on dinner. Okay. Okay. My belief is I'm going to be thankful that she's making me dinner. Okay. And I don't give a fuck whether it's good or bad. She made me dinner and I'm going to love it. I will say that uh, you know? she cannot cook. Okay, but I don't That's care. That's not if true. She's gonna, if she's gonna, no, no, not you. Oh, if, I was if, like, what the heck? No, his, his wife made oh. me salmon lemon pasta. Salmon lemon which pasta. Which is the most disgusting shit I've ever eaten. I like it. I mean, <laughs> That's all that matters. It sounds like, like, it. It. Sounds like, like it could be good. And I like salmon. And is, I, is it just the, the ingredients? Or like I mean, the, just, just think about that. This is like, like sour pasta. Yeah. You don't like I lemon pasta? I love lemon pasta. Yeah. Okay, well, fucking not me, bro. But no, I mean, if if you're looking for things to denigrate, you can find them. You know, you, so, you know, if you wake up on a rainy day and bitch because it's a rainy day instead of saying, well, we needed the rain, you're going to go through life not happy. Okay. But if, if you wake up every day, just, hey, man, I'm glad I woke up, you know? <laughs> that was the other grippy advice you gave me. Yeah. It was every day is a good day if you wake up. Yeah, if you wake up, it's you know, everybody asks me, how's today going? So I didn't wake yeah. up in a hole with dirt coming down at me. Yeah. So it's a good day. Yeah, well, just because uh -huh. you've been, in your words, married five times, right? It, it's not what any different. In, your, in his words? It, it's like, it's not any different than dating someone who's like, like two years apart or 10 years apart. Age is just a number. Okay. I mean, I play Pokemon Go every day. I mean, how many 72-year-olds play Pokemon? I mean, I used to play golf a lot. But I got tired of playing golf because everybody I played golf with, all they did was bitch about everybody else. You know, you, they should be happy they're playing golf. Instead, they're bitching about, you know, college kids. And, you know, I mean, so when I started playing Pokemon Go, it changed my mindset on everything because... Most of the people, I mean, don't get me wrong, there, there are assholes that play Pokemon Go. I mean, they think that the, you know, that the fact that they won at PvP last night, you know. There's a lot of ego gamers yeah, with every game. There's a lot of ego gamers. But yeah. for the most part, it's just nice uh -huh. people out there playing. And it rewired mm -hmm. my brain to where I could have conversations with people that I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And it was good for me. And, and learning how to play the game helped my brain injury recover significantly. Yeah, you changed drastically right? after Pokemon Go. Yeah. I am curious. So, as content creators... I thought you were John. Yeah, as John, right? Are you curious, John? Yes. So, mm -hmm. as curious, George. I am curious, John. Uh, you got to understand why people watch someone. Like, if you watch if you watch Iron Mike Tyson, who's going to be fighting Jake Paul soon. Okay, let me tell you why I watch Mike Tyson. Okay. Okay. Yep. First off, Mike Tyson absolutely acknowledges that he is not the greatest. He is not the GOAT. The second. Muhammad Ali is the GOAT. You think so? That's Mike Tyson says that. Okay. I don't know. I didn't fight either one of them. Right. You know, so unless you were in the ring, I don't think you'd get to have an opinion. Mm -hmm. All these sports writers, bullshit. You know, basketball players tell you that Michael Jordan's the GOAT. Yeah. You know, and they've played against him and LeBron. Uh -huh. they're, they're different players. They're, they're completely different talent sets mm. and and different personalities. But, you know, I mean, if Mike Tyson says that Muhammad Ali is the GOAT, who's going to dispute that? You know? Yeah. And then they both went to jail unjustifiably, I think. Uh, 
but yeah, I yeah, I, I I watched Tyson because he was asked once. Um, Y'all probably heard this story. You know, Mike lives out in Vegas, uh -huh. and his ex-wife Robin Gibbons. She also lives in Vegas. Okay. And uh, Mike tells this story about when they were in the middle of getting their divorce, he would still swing by and hit that. Right. You know, because he's Mike Tyson. Yeah. And she's Robin <laughs> Gibbons, and he would swing by to hit it. So he had left his lawyers, and he swung by her house to hit it, and she wasn't there. Right. And he was going down the driveway to get in his car to drive away, and she rolled up in her gold Mercedes, you know, 450 SEL. And mm -hmm. Mike says, you're not going to believe who's in that car. <laughs> Brad Pitt was in the car with her. And uh, so somebody in the audience, Mike, did you knock him out? <laughs> and Mike Tyson says, Man, you can't knock out Brad Pitt. God would hate you. <laughs> God made Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. That's the prettiest man in the world. <laughs> I wish I'd been in prison with him. <laughs> oh my God. That's insane. <laughs> and and so I mean that's what he's this is because yeah. he he's got his one man show and he talks right. about this. And he was telling that and I was about pissing my pants while mm -hmm. he's telling it. And then somebody in the crowd wanted to know if he went back and saw Robin Gibbons after that. Mm-hmm. And Mike Tyson said to the whole world, she been with Brad Pitt. I ain't got nothing for her. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, I mean, you got to respect that. That's, yeah. That is a self-awareness that most people don't have and certainly not most people that are considered one of the two or three best pugilists that ever lived. Right. They would never want to admit that another guy was, yeah, you know, was above them in was, some situation. Yeah, when it comes yeah. to, to hitting... <laughs> Uh -huh. but, so he admitted, I thought it was great. And then I thought he was awesome in Hangover. Yeah, so, yeah I, he was. I just thought he was yeah. awesome. <laughs> There's two questions I got to ask you before we wrap this whole thing up. Okay. And do I get to tell the Hangover story? I haven't told. Uh, I haven't, oh, well, we, well, if you would tell more stories, maybe yeah. we'll tell a very embarrassing story that I didn't want you to tell on this, but on the Patreon. So if you want to go subscribe to the Patreon, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Steak and Eggs. Appreciate y'all subscribing. Um, I wanted to know, this is your first interaction with Asmund and Emmy. And, uh, you know. No, I've met him before. Sure. Well, on camera. Oh, yeah. Right. So I'm right. wondering, why do you think people watch me? Why do you think people watch As? And why do you think people would watch Emmy? Just from your gut gut reaction from what you've just met them for. Well. Go go one by one. Okay. For as, as is very self-aware. Okay. Yeah, he, as. Is, he is <laughs> As, A-Z, uh -huh. is very self-aware. As Mongler. As Mongler is very <laughs> self-aware. Right. And. You don't get that. And he's not conceited. He's open. He's obviously up on the issues. I, I respect that. I know? appreciate it. Thank you, you very know? much. Emmy? I mean, come on, man. Who wouldn't want to watch Emmy? Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, Look thank, at that. Thank you. You know, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm thrilled. All bullshit aside. Uh-huh. Here's how I ended up back in Austin. How's that? Okay. I was out in Utah. I was traveling the country in my RV with my dogs and my pig, Lola. Lola. And I was doing that because I'd been in the military 41 years. I'd never seen the Grand Canyon. Okay. I'd never seen Zion National. I'd never seen the Petrified Forest. I'd, yeah. You know, and so I was traveling around seeing stuff. And uh, he called me and said, hey, I need you to go back to Austin to this house I'm buying and make sure it's okay. Make sure my utilities are on and make sure, you know, the locks work. And all. so I drove my RV from Salt Lake City to here in a day and a half. Damn. And that was hard drive. So I get here because I want to make sure everything's okay for when he comes down. And uh, then he gets here and I'm seeing the setup and I'm seeing what's going on. And it's, it's realizing that, it's lucrative. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Real crazy. And so then I'm thinking, wow, I hope that he's hanging out with good people. Uh-huh. Because, you know, you see all these pro- So you think you're worried like, oh my God, is he doing cocaine? No, no, I wasn't worried about that. No, uh -huh. no, no. You see all these pro athletes that sign these million dollar contracts yeah. and five years later they're broke. Of course. Because their posse spends all their money. Sure. Mm -hmm. Or their business like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 
his, you know, the basketball, basketball yeah. his, his business manager fucked him out of a half a billion dollars. That's outrageous. You know, I mean, it, yeah. and so one of the things I worried about was who was he getting into the internet with? Right. And would they take advantage of him? Yeah. And that was one of the reasons that I stayed here. Uh-huh. Because I wanted to make sure that he didn't get taken advantage Moved of around. because yeah. he's, he's just, he trusts everybody. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I mean. Probably I, a little bit too much. Yeah. But it became, with, with a couple notable exceptions that I picked up on immediately. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm thrilled that he's hanging out with you guys. That's great. No, it makes, yeah. I, I can go to sleep at night and not worry about it. Yeah. You know, but. And that that was one of the reasons I stayed here was to make sure that he was, because you know everybody worries about lawyers. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Lawyers doesn't scare people. What scares people is physical violence. Yeah. Showing up at their doorstep at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I just wanted to make sure that my son was, you know, and he is now. But for like for a while there, I was worried. Mm-hmm. You know, but you know, heck. I am actually curious. How is it as my dad, when you see people saying shit about me on the internet that you know is not true, how does that make you feel? Hey, bub, it's just content. Oh, that's uh, right. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. Good. Fuck them. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I mean, really. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, yeah. I, one of his brothers got upset over some stuff that John said. And I said, hey, I come can on, guess man. who that is. Yeah, come on, man. It's, it's, fuck off. You know, I mean. It's geez, a show. It's a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's like getting upset when Roman Reigns beats. Cody you know, Rhodes. Dean Ambrose. You know, it's just, that's how the script went that night. You can't get upset. You just watch it for the show. You know? So. No, I don't, that stuff doesn't bother me. Good, yeah. I'm glad. No, the, I care less. The final question I have for you, because it's something that people ask me a lot. How tall are you? How tall am I yeah, how, and how ta- tall should I have been? Now, how tall are you? No, no, that's a serious question. Okay. How tall should you have okay, been? Okay, when I when I went in the army in 1972, I was five foot nine and a half. But over the years, you know, back injuries, neck injuries, two fake hips, you just start to shrink. I don't have any disc spaces in my back anymore. So I'm probably around five seven now. Okay, five seven? Yeah. Now, okay. Now, how tall should I have been? Yeah. Because I said I was almost 70 inches. I should have been 6'1 or 6'2. Now you say, how do you know that? How do you know that? Okay, well, I was born in 1951 at 25 weeks. I weighed two pounds and oh my God. 12 ounces. Oh. And there was no neonatal care. They just put you under a light. Yeah. And, you know, Premature babies like that only reach about the 90th percentile of what they should have reached in height and mm. stature. Mm. You extrapolate. You know, yeah, yeah. My, my dad is was 6'2". Uh-huh. You know, so that's probably where I, I should have been it's somewhere. It's crazy that, that you yeah. say that oh. because like my family is the exact same thing. I think my dad is was unironically 5'9 and a half and he had like five neck operations. Yep. Now he's 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, yep. Yep. And everybody else in my family is like over six foot. Yep. I've yeah. never asked you that. I never knew that. Well, about what? I didn't know that you were premature. Yeah, I was real premature. I that's, had no idea. You know, that's, okay. Like, like I got asked about Roe v. Wade. Yeah. We got to keep it a little bit tight because we got to end soon. Yeah. I got to ask about Roe v. Wade. And you know, basically my opinion on Roe v. Wade is I don't have a uterus. I don't have ovaries. It's none of my fucking business. Uh-huh. You know, I don't think that women need to make that decision. And they need to make it as a group. And it should probably be made state by state. I don't think the federal government has any business telling women what they can or can't do. I think birth control should be free for everybody. And, you know, but when you start talking about abortions, I was a 25-week baby uh-huh. and I'm here. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I mean, you'd think you'd know by 13 or 14 weeks whether you wanted to have a kid or not, but. I know that there are different circumstances all the time. I mean, I had women that came in to my clinics that were five months pregnant and didn't know it. You know, it just mm. it just happens. So, but I, yeah, I. Yeah. So you're five seven. Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm six six. Yeah, used to be used to be six eight. Hand size. Used to be six eight. Look at this. 
Almost the same size. No, your game. hand is so hard. No, 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 look at this. No, your hand is so much higher up. Now it's fair. Like, I got a digital. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, yeah. There's not much difference there. For sure. So how did this happen? How am, I, how am I so much bigger than you? Well, I fed you as a kid. Oh, God. He had, we had a, a nanny yeah. fed him white bread, butter, and sugar sandwiches. So good. When he was little. Is that how Ralph happened? That's where <laughs> Ralph came from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. He, he'd go through a loaf of bread and a pound of butter and a pound of sugar daily. Uh-huh. Yeah. God damn. It was good. And he was the best athlete in the family when it yeah. came to things like hand-eye coordination. Uh-huh. You know, bowling, golf. I was nasty at bowling. Still am. Hitting baseball. Where'd you go bowling? I hit a 180 the other day. I fall down now. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. I fall down. Uh, okay, last thing, and then we'll wrap this up. What was my original name supposed to be? What? But what was I supposed to be named before I was called John? You don't uh, remember this? I was always calling you John. No, but what did the other person want to call me? Oh, I don't fucking know. I never listened. You remember Miles Biscuit? Oh, that's bullshit. That's, that's not a real story. No, that is, that's just you. Okay. His that's brothers. Not, okay. Oh, that, no. was, that was his brothers fucking with him. Let me tell you what others his brothers did with yeah. him. I'm at the Pentagon. Okay. They're still living with their mother uh -huh. about a hundred miles west of DC. Yeah. And I get a phone call from the county sheriff asking oh, me, asking fuck. me, do I have a son named Billy? Billy. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. His brothers had told him that there had been another brother named Billy, <laughs> but their mom got mad and killed him, and he was buried underneath the front porch. Damn. So it he's at school. He's in, like, kindergarten or yeah, first school. grade, and he's crying. Inside of an igloo made yeah. of milk jugs. Crying, and right. the teacher says, what's wrong? And he says, my mother killed my brother Billy. Oh, my fucking now, God. And, of course, the police think I'm involved, too. Of course. You know, so, yeah, that's... Oh, my yeah, Lord. But the, the one about Miles Biscuit... That was bullshit? Well, she did want to name you Miles, but Biscuit wasn't the middle name. Biscuit. Okay. But Am yeah, I gullible? She, Do I fall for shit? No, she wanted to name you Miles, but your nickname was Biscuit. Yeah. You know, your nickname was Biscuit. Yeah, but I was named after your best friend, though. Yep. That's yep. right. We don't... Yeah, well, you know, yeah, we don't got to talk about The guy him. I was in the army with is who he's named. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, you know, we're, we're going to tell a pretty great story. Oh, we got some great stories. They need to they need to stay on for okay. these next, because they're... <laughs> for the Patreon, we got a great story that I didn't want to go on the main episode. A couple. Because it's, a couple. Cause it's just a, couple, a little bit yeah, too little, crazy. A little bit not, yeah. Oh, thank God. I'm yeah. excited. Gentlemen. We, we got uh, three YouTube comments to read. And also, okay. while I'm reading those, I got you a present. It's right there. So if you want to open that, that's for you. I'm going to read those. Don't worry about that. I like the. I agree with the first one. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it while, while I'm reading those. Just you, that's yours. To your left. Yeah, that's your present for and coming number in. Number two, they change the rules every year, so nobody ever knows what the okay. rules are. <laughs> so, first coming from George and Destructible is someone needs to tell Asmund that long hair looks really good on him. I gotta, I gotta fix this, this, this hairline though. I gotta do something about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, Wi-Fi Luna 7632 says, Tech don't try to understand taxes. It's so fucking funny. He could not lock in. I just don't know why they don't tell you how much you owe. No, you're right. Am there, I crazy? There's, no, changes. there's places that do that. Changes. I don't know why they don't do it here, but they don't. Yeah, straight it's up. It's very complicated. I do know why. I could explain it, but it would take 30 minutes. Yeah, sure. But it's uh -huh. just, I feel like it's, cr when people are acting like they get taxes. Okay, that's... am I going to jail? No, 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 no. That's for you. That's for your car. If you ever need it. You sure I'm not going to jail? No, I give all my homies a sword. So oh, I gotta give, shit. I got to give you a sword. <laughs> it's my favorite color. It's blue blade. That's real, by the way. It's be very careful. It's very real. It's very sharp. So is it going to be signed on the handle? If you want me to uh, sign it, yeah, of no, course. No, no, no. By the... The sword maker. Did the sword maker sign it? No, 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 no. And the last comment is Richard3353 says the amount of times Tecton said that's badass in this episode eight plus. There's no fucking that's way. That's a lot. I don't even say badass anymore. Uh, regardless. Uh, you just got used jail. to it. It's uh, yeah. subconscious yeah. now. Oh, he gave me one too. Yeah, it's probably him. illegal though, right? No, no. no, no why illegal illegal here? I, gave him, I gave him that one. You can carry swords in Texas. I, gave I thought there was like, yeah. I got a buddy. I mean, okay. There's a person I play Pokemon. Well, we'll talk about this on the Patreon. Anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> Asmund, I mean, it was very cool of y'all to be yeah. my dad. Uh, boys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see a very embarrassing story told by my dad, make sure to subscribe to StakingEggs.com or, or Patreon.com for Stake and Eggs. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. See ya. Peace. Bye. Then you turn and you look at me. There's a little glimmer that I can see. A spark.
<laughs> uh, today, we're doing something really fun. We're doing an anime tier list because Asmund's been getting into Death Note lately Finally. and he's been loving it, which gets me excited. So now we have a tier list of uh, some of the best anime ever created, the top 300. We probably won't get them all. I don't care. What are, are y'all's top three anime? Top three? Yeah, it's off the rip. <sighs> it's tough because I've like, I've been watching anime over a period of like, I want to say like 15 years. Yeah. So it's hard to compare something I watched a year ago to something I have I watched like recently. Cause like, you know, like when you're younger, it's different. But I'd yeah. probably say for me, like Mob Psycho, Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood. I know you have feelings about people, but I love that one oh, when I, when I watched it. Yeah. So it's kind of based off like the feeling. Oh, maybe Death Note would be up there too. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of like Mob. I love Mob. Yeah. What about you, Esmond? Berserk. Good one. Ghosts in the Shell. Good one. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Which season? One and two. Dude, actually saying that you like one is a very bold take. Not only is it a bold take, but it's actually the only correct take. I think it's also very good. <laughs> I yes. feel like people who don't like it just don't get it. And it's also, yes. it is the most important season for the actions that come after that. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm part it's five. It's my favorite by far. I love part five. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Um, Giorno Giovanna. Not yet. Holy fuck. Can I tell you what it's about? I, I'm, I will get there. I will get there. <laughs> mm -hmm. 